Good morning. Well, today is Monday. Start of another beautiful brand new week. It's really sunny out there, but I just put my light on here in the little office. My little den, whatever you want to call it. My little dumping ground, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Got a coal saws coming through. Coal saw. Oh well. <laughs> I'm, I've zapped it with the old stuff, so. Yeah, so um, yeah, pretty, pretty usual, nothing really planned today, just gonna enjoy life as much as we can. Right, I've just been watching uh, on, on the TV and there's a big earthquake happening um, in Turkey, two of them. Two really big ones, there's loads of people have died. Unbelievable, I went to um, Turkey on holiday once, a few years ago, and I never knew they suffered with, Kirk, um, with um, earthquakes. Unbelievable. I just, just never know on this earth, do you, you know what I mean? Everybody fights over it and fights religion and all that like, but in that again, she just shakes her fucking body and a big earthquake happens and kills fucking thousands. Unbelievable. Whew, makes you think, doesn't it? Right, just popping down the old Sainsbury's to get some food. It's, nice, it's quite nice and warm. What really makes a change? I was going to go down the beach because it's lovely and sunny and there's no sun in my garden. It's, it's quite chilly but warm as well, so it's strange. Anyway, but I couldn't get down here. The roadworks in South End is just so... It's like going into a maze. It, it just one takes this way, one takes that way, and I'll just fucking give up and come home. Ridiculous. I did decide to just dig holes everywhere in South End. I know I'm whinging, but this is fact. Fact. I I looked at clock for when I was talking to you. It's fact. Just for a fucking bit of time. It's gone so fast today. Anyway, yeah, so I'll bypass myself, you know, down the old beach, down the old sea here. So I've run around the garden for a little while, I'll just get some fresh air in, you know. Just not the same. You know, no, no bird shit out there, but. It was okay. Right, the sun has gone over the yard arm, whatever that means. And it's getting dark and cold. I've put the heating on. It's good though, because it was quite warm today, so I didn't put it all day. It's nice. Save some money. Mrs. Home had a chat and a giggle in that, you know. And I'm just gonna do a curry. I bought some lamb today. I usually use leftover lamb, but there was no leftover because we didn't have any. So <laughs> so I it's a bit of lamb. It's quite expensive, but I am worth it. So is the missus. Well, nearly anyway. Me, that is. Right, the curry is cooked lovely. It's been cooked for about an hour now. Really nice. Mm, mm, mm. Just heating some rice up in the old oven. And gonna munch it up. Looking good. Good morning. Well, today is Tuesday. The sun's shining now, but when I first got this morning, it was really, really cloudy. Not cloudy, you're misty. Foggy, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, and cold. The sun's breaking through, it's gonna warm it up, which is lovely. Right, um, things to do today, plenty. Plenty to do, must be plenty. Right, that's all the work I've got to do today. Um, I've got to go get some fresh air. It's a lovely day out there, and I'm stuck in here. Yeah. Next stop, get some fresh air, be nice. And this bloody computer off. I've done a bit of fresh air, and it's still still misty down here in the water. Up in the town, it was quite it was quite all nice sunshine. I mean, it's just hanging on a bit. Very spooky. Let me show you how spooky. <laughs> like it's rolling off, look. <laughs> so quiet as well, it's so full of this, isn't it? Yes, I suppose I've seen full tires like this, but it's really full. The old sun is definitely trying to break through. It's really quite cold down here as well, it's really kept the old. Yeah, the chill. Oh. Still, <sighs> need the fresh air. Time to get back over coffee. <laughs> it's nice though. All right, it's nice and bright outside, but it's bloody freezing here, so I have to put the heating on. I didn't want to, but it's chilly now. These old houses, uh, takes a lot of heating and keeping the heat in, I think. <sighs> I wish I had a nice garden. Oh, we have got a nice garden, but no sun. <sighs> Typical. Coffee. Time for coffee. It's always time for coffee. Right, that time of day again. Time for dinner. 
When I'm dieting, I like to say it's sweet. Well, you do, do you? I think your brain says that you need sweet. You know what I mean, I've had these little bits. It was grapes. They're nice grapes, but these are, these are in my eyes, especially these are cotton candy grapes. And they, they taste just, just like, I don't know, just really... Mm. Very sugary. And like um, butterscotchy or something like that. Just, oh, just gorgeous. I'd just eat a few of them. Only a few, only on... On the calories and that. Just like that lovely sweet tooth. Hmm. Might have another. Anyway, it's time for dinner. I've got to get dinner on air. Yeah, so fishy thing today. It's nice. Fish is in the frying pan. Lovely. Lovely and beautiful. Good morning. Right, today is Wednesday. Here in Essex, the weather is really cold and really, really foggy. It's horrible. Like a frozen, foggy, weathery kind of day. Horrible. It's supposed to brighten up later on, but at the moment, stay in, keep warm. Best sort, I think. Yeah, perfect. Right, a bit of shopping time. The sun's come out. The old fog's lifted, which is very nice. Yeah, still chilly, but nice and bright. Nice and bright to go shopping. Right, I'm doing a casserole today, so I have to start cooking quite early. It takes about four hours. I like the mine done, so yeah, so I'm starting, it's what, nearly two o'clock. I'm just starting to chop all the veg in that and yeah, and bosh it on, let it simmer away. About an hour, and, well, I think it's about an hour and a half in, something like that. You lift the lid off, or two and a half hours in. I lift the lid off, let it go a bit brown, and put it back on again and stir it. And, it's all the yunctious, and yunctious is just beautiful. Yeah, so. Chopping vegetables and get a casserole on. Right, all the veggies all chopped up. Got a bit of beef over there. Uh, got some yeah, ubies and stuff. Nice. Just got, to, on. Just got to start softening it down in the old pan. Right, all chopped up, all boshed it, all put off powder and whatever you put in it. Whatever I put in it. Dot of wine. Oh, it's going to be good. Right, another, I'll be ready by. Was that two o'clock? Be ready by about six. Nice. Just in time for a good scoff. Always surprised about dark it gets really, really quickly. <laughs> I mean, half past five at the moment, about quarter past five, I think. Phew, like someone pulls the blinds and just who's dark. Um right, I cracked the kitchen because I've got dinner on now. I've been cooking that old um uh the old casserole for the last nearly four hours, so yeah, I've got it a good stir. I've took the lid off it to make the old, just to reduce it a bit. <coughs> Stuck it back in the oven for another hour. So, got about another half hour to go. So, I'm just biting like the, the old cut of greens, if it takes as I like, but squash, but squash for the missus. Yeah, so have a nice warming dinner on a very, very cold night. Perfect. All right, casserole. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, looking good. Right, tight for dinner. The missus is ooh, just serving up beautifully. Can't see. Ooh, that would do perfect. Greens, just greens. Greens, there's my greens. Oh, I've got this coming, it's coming. Where is my greens? Where is my greens? Can you put it on professionally? Yeah. Yeah, look at that, right on the edge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dinner is served. Perfect. Hang on, more. Good morning. Right, today is Thursday. The weather in Essex is uh, it's horrible. It's cloudy, miserable, bloody horrible. Is it's winter time? Right, on oh, things to do today. Oh, I've got the dentist today. I've got to go and get my new teeth. My Little falsy things at the back, at the bottom there. I must admit, I've, I've, I haven't missed them. I can meet anything. People look at me funny when I start going shh, shh, shh because of the gaps. But yeah, I suppose it'd be good to get it in, just facially, you know what I mean? What do they call it? Yeah, cosmetically, that's a good word. I like it. Cosmetically, it looked ghetto with, with no gap. So let's see how I get on. I've got to go there at um, 20 past 11. So. Better get a bit of brekkie first, just in case I can't chew anything afterwards for about four weeks. I mean, good for the diet, but I'll probably die. So, yeah, I don't want to, I want to eat with four weeks. So it can't be four weeks. It's cancer of four weeks, all right? That'd be cool. Right, so, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the news on the old computer. It's all, you know, shit, and fucking 
Yeah. Um, right, I will, I will, yeah, I'll get my teeth in. <laughs> Literally. Right, I'm just going to pop off to get some <clears throat> replacements for the old gap in my two. It's on, yeah. Let's see if it works. It, um, it looks okay and it feels okay. It's more important thing, I think. Yeah, as long as it feels okay and I can eat properly. Because at the moment I can eat properly quite good, so... Yeah, right. At least it'll make me look handsome again. <laughs> As if I ever was. Right, back from the dentist. A lot poorer. But I've got got some molars, got some teeth. Yeah. I feel really, really, really weird. Can't be able to, it's like a bridge to put in. Yeah. yeah. Just got to keep them cleaned, isn't it? Yeah, not bad at all. Just feel... It's been so long since so I've had it in there. I've had about, what is it, three months or something like that without teeth in there. Hmm. I have to get used to them all over again. Lovely though. They say I've got my smile back. I never lose my smile though, do I? Nah, it's good. All right, um, right. just got to take it easy with them. It says I um, don't try not to bite down in like you know, a few hours. Like, just let them settle in. You know, apples and things like that. But I don't eat apples, so. Yeah. See how they go. It cost a fortune. <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my little wallet anyway, a fortune. <laughs> right, on with the day. Well, I've been uh, looking at a bit of shopping on the old Amazon and uh, I see some Bluetooth on earphones. Yeah, I mean, the little ones you put in, you can pick up on your phone and that, Any, anything new, new, I suppose, Bluetooth anywhere. Um, and I've always fancied a pair, though, but these ones are really good. They're sell, they, they seem really good anyway. I looked at the old reviews and that. They were like, um, I think 60 quid or 68 pounds, something like that, but knocked down to 17 today. On this flash thing, this flash fucking sales things they do on Amazon. Yeah, so the reviews are good on them. And that, so, yeah, so I've bought myself a pair for £17, something it was, just 18 quid. Brilliant. Yeah, I think that's a bargain. And get some, I'll get them tomorrow before, um, before one o'clock. Even better. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, look, um, I've got these new tea for mine, and they feel very strange indeed. Feels like they're pushing the other ones out. But I'm hungry, so I've got to eat kind of. Soft stuff today, she said, just for a little while, so it's for one day. So I'm gonna have some cereal and milk or something like that, I think. Maybe a banana chucked on top. Oof, that'd be good. Right, it's been a quite a nice afternoon, so uh, I ain't done a lot. I've got my shiny teeth. <laughs> I've been a bit dreamy, it feels like my mouth's full again. I don't like it a lot, but I'll get used to it, I suppose. I'm um, just doing a bit of dinner, I'm just doing a bit of chicken and salad, so you've seen it all before, so you don't have to see it again. Chicken, you know what chicken looks like? Salad, that green stuff. All right, good. Good morning. Right, today is Friday. We're in Essex. It's lovely and sunny, actually. Quite nice. Chilly, but nice. Really good indeed. Well, I've got um, uh, a delivery today. Uh, it's supposed to be before one o'clock, so it's good. Um, it was a, an Amazon deal where I've always wanted a pair of earphones. Um, is that ear earphones? Yeah, we listen to the old, um, the, the blue, blue band, blue, blue ray, blue band or something. Is it, I mean, blue band, blue something. And I <laughs> can't remember. And, um, and I thought, oh, you know, and these, these nice ones, they're knocked down 73%. So I saved like fucking 50 odd quid. I believe it was. I bought for 17 pound something. Let read all the reviews and all that sort of thing. Look quite good. So I've ordered them. See how they go. You know, I better get in touch with the old phone. I've, I've all my music's on my MP3 player, <clears throat> but most of it I've, I've, I can transfer. I can put on my phone and just listen to my phone. Have a phone back pocket. Yeah, no wires anywhere. So yeah, quite looking forward to that. I've never had a pair. I hope they fit me earrolls. So I've got big earrolls. But yeah, see how it goes. Oh well, that's enough drivel this morning. <laughs> drivel on again. <laughs> let's enjoy the day. Right, my arm um, is on the past the right. So let's let's have a look here. Unveiling or unboxing, I call this. No, let's see how you it. Unboxing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, all right, ready. Hang on. Ta da! All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. True wireless earphones. All right, I've ripped the box open. Wow, a little. That's right, 
<laughs> oh, I press it. Open it. Sit on it. Ooh. Alright, there's one. And there's another one in there as well. Alright, I'm going to set these up and stick them in my ear rolls and see how I get on. See people do that on the, on the internet. And they do it so smoothly. You're unpacking something. This is the thing that opens up. I seem to struggle with that stuff. Anyway, I've got one out. It's a little beauty. I suppose it just sticks in the ear roll. Don't know why it sticks in the ear roll, but there you go. Have to have a look. Like that, I suppose. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I will suss it out. <laughs> you know, I'm like, fuck it, use this. Right, the old ear old thing is, the old music, yeah, yeah, Bluetooth. Works good. Yeah, I can put it on my phone in the kitchen and walk around the house and it's perfect way around the house. I don't know how far Bluetooth goes, but yeah, is it Bluetooth? I get confused. That, that thing anyway, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, perfect. Really, really good. So, um, oh, it's getting a bit late now, so I'm going to get a bit of brunch. Then I've got to do the work around the house with my new headphones in. Perfect. It's going to be a good day. Right, all my housework is done. The um, headphones are really good. It's really good. A bit sore, first of all, I put them in. I don't know if I've put them in the right way. I think there's only one way, but music's great. I can hear it upstairs, as I've said before. All the way lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've got to pop out and um, post a letter. It's got to be there tomorrow, I think, if I fucked it. But I'm going to post it anyway. <laughs> oh, not a bad day today, quite nice. I haven't put the heat on yet, which is always a bonus, I think, in these winter times. I'm just making bread. Well, I'll put the stuff in the, the maker and it's making it, but how else? Smells of brand new bread. It smells. Oh, it's beautiful. I remember there's a, there's a shop over where, tell me it was years ago, called Cottages, Cottages, something like that. It's like they always go out there and get their bread. It was always warm. Ooh, beautiful. <sighs> right, the, oh, the missus will be home soon. Well, about another half hour too. So, yeah, I'm just going to put my feet up. Everything's done. The house is nice and tidy. All my chores are done. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, it's good. Cheers. All right, bread is done. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It's really, really hot at the moment. I could take all the big sliders off it. Stick some jam on it and scoff a cup of tea. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going <laughs> to talk like cough. <clears throat> right. <laughs> steady, steady. Right. Uh, I'll, I'm, uh, yeah, I've just got to get something to eat. The missus has got to a... Uh, I have to see her dad this week. It's on my half term with it is. At school. So it's going to look after him, my old chap. And I'm, I'm going to stay and be a bachelor boy. I was going to cook myself something, but it's 7 o'clock and I've been sitting there ogling into you and just watching news and things. So I'm going to get some fish and chips. Yeah. This is probably going to go at me, but yeah, I'm hungry, so I can't remember what I cooked. Fish and chips is the right way to go. It's been lovely. Good morning! Right, today is Saturday, and today in my eyes is rugby day. <sighs> got a great couple of games coming up. Not England, England until tomorrow, which is quite a nice. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about them. I can just enjoy the rugger. You know what I mean? Two good games. Yeah, oh, should be a cracker. Should be a bloody cracker. Right, I've got to go out shopping first and get a bit of um, bit of grub for the weekend. Uh, yeah, um, the weather is pretty cloudy. Not very nice at all, but... We're going rugby! <laughs> We're looking forward to it. Right, um, that was, just got back from shopping and that was really, really busy. Yeah, really busy. Seems like there's loads of works everywhere as well. <sighs> Crazy, eh? Right, just sit down and watch some rugby. Lovely. Amazing game of rugby. Truly amazing. Ireland were top shot. You know what I mean? They're supposed to be the best in the world at the moment. They, they looked here, they were brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Yeah, really, really good. Deserves to have won. Really, I can't see anybody stopping them. I really can't. They're, they've got the Grand Slam already, I think. Yeah, very good indeed. Well, I've got the on um, the Irish game coming up. I'm going to... Not the Irish. The Scottish game in Welsh. Welsh is a Scottish game. I'm going to give that a wander over and uh, have a, um, a butchers. But first of all, I've got to get some dinner on. I'm going to make a, a lasagna. I know mean, lasagna for yonks. My missus don't like pasta, so I don't usually make it. So she's not here at the moment. I you know, got to a, a dad, so yeah, I'm going to knock up lasagna if I remember how to do it. Just a bolognese sauce with a bit of white sauce, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm going to knock the sauce up now. Lovely. Right, watching, watching, telling I fell asleep. Time for dinner. I'm starving. Hope it's cooked. All right, here she is. Looks nice. Nice layers. Mmm, smells delish. Looking forward to this. Lasagna. Good morning. Well, today is Sunday. In a weather day in Essex, not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's quite warm for the time of year. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll come for a wander this morning. Clear my head before I start watching Rugger again. It was a, it was a long old time watching TV yesterday. Yeah, it makes me tired, but it's nice here to get some sea air. As you can see, there's no water, so I come up in the hills and I wander around here. So it's nice. If you flick around, as you see me before, the gardens and everything. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Misty, but nice. <laughs> Nice start, nice um, way to start a lovely day out here. Beautiful. The only thing about a nice walk in the morning, get some fresh air, makes you bloody hungry. So I'm going to attack, <laughs> attack the frying pan, have a nice fry up this morning. Yeah, just eggs and a bit of bacon. You know, nice. Well, I was just thinking what to do today. Um, I've got rugged this afternoon at about three o'clock. So that's something to look forward to. Italy and um, versus England. I think it's a Twickenham. Yeah, oh, it'd be nice to go to Twickenham. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've got that, so I've got to fill with the time in to then. I, mean, I don't think I want to go out again, because it's quite chilly out there now. So um, I'm going to play some games. <laughs> Why not? I'll see a film, watch a film. No, I'll play games, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love it. I love killing zombies in an afternoon on a Sunday. <laughs> Oh dear, it's good. Well, I've got about another, ooh, another an hour, well, nearly an hour before the rugger starts, so I'm going to get a nice cup of coffee, watch the beginning, yeah, and hope it's a good game. I've just been watching a bit of news, <laughs> and they showed some things in the, the, um, the bridge yesterday, was it? All the old pop people get together, and all the young ones, they're all fucking nutters. It's about money and no sense, it's really fantastic. <laughs> That's not getting old, but some of the, some of the, I need to say costumes, but some of the, you know, the things they wore was fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Still, <laughs> I must be getting old. Sure, I'll, back in the seventies, I must have gone near to that. You know, me, me old, me old Lionel Blairs all come back anyway. Now, I don't know. I remember having a pair of old gold and silver boots, really high ones. That was in the, the glam, the glam rock. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it made me laugh. It really did. Right, um, yeah, a few more minutes. I'm gonna go and watch the old, the old rugby. Yeah, rugby, and enjoy. I hope. Surely we can beat the Italians. Come on, England! All right, here we go. Rugby's just gonna start. Just do the old national anthems. God save the king. The boys got mean, and Twickenham looks amazing. Nice. Right, half time, and England playing really, really well. Yeah, the Italians are a bit unlucky in some things, but no, England are dominating at the moment. But we know the Italians can come back, so it's a good game. It's a bloody good game. Yeah, right, time for a coffee. Right, end of that. That was really good. A good game. I thought Italy could come back a bit more. They put a couple of tries, which is great for them. But England come through and won, so I'm an happy boy. Lovely, jubbly. Really good. Enjoy rugby so much. So much better than football. In my opinion, well done, England. Well done. Right, time to get a bit off dinner. Lucky enough, I don't have a lasagna yesterday, but I've still got half left, so I'm going to scoff that. Perfect. <laughs> 